First to six, water raid. Shocking video from Lake St. Clair is making waves on social media. Now a man from New Baltimore is accused of boating drunk and ramming into the back of another boat. 7 Action News reporter Jennifer Ann Wilson is live at Brandenburg Park with a video going viral and the warning from police. Jennifer Ann. Yeah, in that video you see there is a larger boat from which somebody is shooting that video from. That is the wife. There is she is a half of a retired couple. She says they boat on a regular basis and they don't want their identity revealed out of fear that that guy in the red boat will come find them once again, although they say they don't know who he is. They've never seen him before, but they were on their way back to the dock to dock their boat when they noticed him following them and then he circled their boat. It's the gasp inducing cringeworthy video seen around the world. That's the moment that terrorized a retired couple in Lake St. Clair Saturday and landed this boater in jail. We received a 911 call uh, from the victim's boat stating that they had just been hit and that the suspect boat took off. The Macomb County Sheriff's Marine Division found the red aluminum fishing boat quickly with this man allegedly behind the wheel, 39 year old Timothy Kennedy of New Baltimore. According to police, he was drunk when they found him. The victim's boat was extensively damaged. Kennedy has been charged with both crimes and police have a warning. The legal limit is 0 0.08, so it's the same as on the road. And if they are going to consume alcohol while they're out on the water, make sure to have a designated driver for their boat. Law enforcement will be patrolling the water and looking for signs of intoxication. They're driving too close to people. They're unable to dock their vessel, things of that nature. Have flotation devices on board and make sure you've got a safety plan in place. When you're out there in the sunshine and you're not drinking enough water, you're getting dehydrated. That alcohol is going to affect you very quickly, especially being in the sunshine. And, you know, driving a boat is it's a big responsibility, so be safe out there. And remember, there's never, ever any good excuse to do this. While thankfully, Macomb County Sheriff's Department says that incidents like this attack are very rare. They do say there's an uptick in crashes and accidents out here on the water whenever the weather is this gorgeous and whenever it's a holiday weekend like this is. So they are saying be cautious if you come out into the water and they also want to give you one more tip. They say that getting your boat towed if you run out of gas or get into a crash is a lot more expensive than getting your car towed. You can get towing insurance. There are a couple of companies. We'll add those to our website in case you're interested in purchasing it. They say it could save you a lot of money in the long run. Reporting live here, I'm Jennifer Ann Wilson, 7 Action News. Wow, so very scary. Thank you so much for the live report, Jennifer Ann.